Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So today's video is all about these lenses. So we all know that iPhones have a very good camera. That's maybe the first reason why people buy an iPhone. Well, besides having a static looking phone that looks very great, that has a top line chassis. I mean, the quality of this phone is very great, but the camera is one of the biggest reason why most people buy uh, an iPhone. And going from one small camera to this bump, to this camera bump with three lenses, people are starting asking themselves, do they need to protect these lenses? Because yeah, we all know the likelihood of having your iPhone falling down on the ground and all of that. So shouldn't you just protect that those camera lenses with something like a lens protector? So I've made a video about this very topic in the past and my conclusion was no, you don't need these lens protectors. The main reason for that is because these lenses are made out of sapphire. So you just have to put a case around your phone and you're good to go. So whenever you have your iPhone, God forbid, and falling down on the ground, the likelihood of having it falling down right onto those cameras is very small. And once again, those cameras are made out of sapphire, which is a very strong gemstone. I mean, the only thing that's more stronger than sapphire is diamond. So with that in mind, let's dive right into this video to let me just mount these lens protectors on the iPhone and show you that you don't need them. So once again, you don't need these lens protectors, but I will mount them on these lenses just to show you how bad the quality of your pictures will become, which is remember the most reason why most people buy an iPhone because you want to take beautiful pictures. We are living now in 2022. Uh, I mean, 4K video is common and you don't you don't want to have to have a layer on top of it that may reduce the quality of that video or that picture. So when you get these lens protectors, you will get these wipes along with it. Uh, I don't I don't like using these wipes because well, the wet one may contain alcohol. I'm not sure about that, but it may contain alcohol, which may remove that layer that Apple put on top of a screen just to make it scratch resistant and all of that, but we are not talking about the screen of the iPhone, we're talking about the cameras, and even then, I don't like using alcohol um, on it. So let's put this one aside and just grab for yourself a microfiber cloth. So just give it a wipe just to remove all that dust. And once again, you're after watching this video, obviously you are not gonna buy these because you don't need them, but I'm not, I'm just showing you how to mount them on your iPhone. So this tutorial is kind of not needed, but at the same time, I'll make it. So yeah, you just press those things on top of your iPhone and there we have the first lens. So the first lens is mount mounted. Let's do that with the uh, remaining lenses. And finally, this final lens. So you remove this thing, this plastic thing, and you put it right on to your iPhone lens. So these lenses are made out of plastic, so keep that in mind. While the lenses of your iPhone are made out of sapphire, sapphire, these lenses are made out of plastic, so they may become very dirty over time. And once again, the picture or the quality of your picture may reduce a bit, So, and you don't want that. Uh, but let's test that in real time. Let's see how good our camera uh, becomes. So now I'm having my camera on, and let's put something like Naruto in here. I mean, you might not see any difference because it's through a camera. I'm filming now with another iPhone and you see this picture through a camera. So you don't see any difference, but I can guarantee you there's a huge difference between having these lenses on and not having them on. So if I bring, I see a glare on the lens, and I'm not sure if it's visible on cam. You see also a glare on Naruto's hair here. It's kind of not visible, but at the same time, it's very visible. So yeah, keep that in mind. And since those lens protectors are made out of plastic, you might get a very bad quality over time because we all know plastic is just reducing in quality. So do you need these lenses? Absolutely not, don't buy them. I'm not, I'm not even gonna put any link uh, underneath this video to direct you to anyone because there's no lens protector on the market that 
um, that gives you what they promise. I mean, most of the time they just list on their description that these lenses are made out of glass, which is not the case. People don't put them on, on your iPhone. A second hassle that you might encounter is that you might not be able to remove them. I've got a lot of messages from people that are not able to remove these darn things uh, because yeah, that glue will get stuck on, on top of your camera lens or on top onto your actual ca camera lens and you will not be able to remove that. I'll make a video, a detailed video showing you exactly how you can remove these lens protectors. So keep tuned for that. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, of that video in the comment section below once I finish that video. Uh, but yeah, my last verdict about these lens protectors, don't use them, you don't need them. And hey, if you want to protect this bump, because let's be honest, this bump is very big while your iPhone is very thin, you can just, there's a better way to protect that bump or those camera lens area. I'm demonstrating that when iPhone 12, I have, I'm having a case here that has this protection, protection layer, um, especially for your camera area. So if I slap this case on top of my iPhone 12, now my lenses are protected with this case. So it's a all-in-one case. It protects your iPhone and this lens area. And even if you just put your iPhone on a surface and you put it on top of those cameras, you don't have to worry about um, getting them scratched or all of that. I'll leave a link um, that will direct you to a case something like this one. It's an Amazon link, link that gives me a small kickback. It will cost you nothing, but it helps support this channel. Uh, that way I'm more able to buy these things and uh, give you these videos. So yeah, final verdict, you don't need these camera lens protectors. Just go and buy yourself a good case that has this protection area on top of it. Uh, that way you'll have your camera lenses protected. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video just to tell the algorithm that more people should just see this video just to not make that mistake of like losing their money on these darn things. Um, yeah, subscribe to this channel. That helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.